Welcome guys, on your demand. Today we are recreating Saklane Khan's popular animations. Let's make these animations. Here I have added these images. I have generated these images with AI application called Microsoft Designer. First we will adjust background images Z-axis position. Let's set it to 1000%. Now let's adjust subject images Z-axis position to 800%. Now we will adjust these images size. Also adjust the subject images position. Now let's extend these layers duration to 10 seconds. Now apply the Gaussian Blur effect to the background layer. Keep the strength to 0.1%. Now let's apply one more effect called Saturation. Adjust the saturation value according to your image. Now copy the saturation effect and paste it onto subject image layer. Adjust the saturation value if needed. Now let's adjust subject images, pivot point position to the center. Now apply the bend effect to this layer. Now at the first frame of this layer, keep the angle value to negative 10 degrees and add a angle keyframe. Now move to the last frame and change the angle value to 10 degrees. Now we have something like this. It's not interesting, right? Let's make it little interesting. Go to Curves and select the Bounce Curves. Now here select the third Curve option. Now you can see the what we have with these curves. Let's make little adjust to these curves for slower animation. Now it's perfect to me. Now add the camera. Active the camera. Now add the position keyframe to the camera at the first frame. Now, move to 1.2, 5 seconds forward, and repeat the position keyframe. Now at the first keyframe, adjust the camera's Z-axis position as shown. Also adjust the camera's X and Y-axis positions if needed. Now make this animation faster to slower. Now we have something like this. Now apply the Zoom Blur effect to Subject Image Layer. Let's keep the Strength value to 0.5%. Now add a Strength keyframe here. Now, move to 1.2, 5 seconds forward, and decrease the Strength value to 0%. Now make this animation faster to slower. Now we have something like this. Now at this frame, add this image. Let's adjust the size. Now add a circle shape. Let's adjust the size. Now change this shape color to white. Let's drag it here. Let me adjust this image a little bit more. Now select these two images and make them group. Now let's adjust this layer scale a little bit more. Keep it here. Now change this image Z-axis position to 850%. Let's adjust this image size and position. Now add a position keyframe here. Move 15 frames forward and add one more. Now at the first keyframe, change this image position as shown. Now make this animation faster to slower. Now apply the motion blur to this layer. The blur is too high, guys. Let's decrease the tune value a little bit. Now duplicate this layer. Select the second layer and apply the Gaussian blur effect. Adjust the blur strength if needed. As you can see, we can't see the glow. Because of the background image is little brighter, we will fix it later. Let's extend these layers duration. For the next animation, I have created a new project and added the files. Select the ink splatter clip layer and apply the chroma key effect. Now remove the black color from the clip. Now select these two layers, 
and tap on the masking icon for masking. Now copy this layer and paste it onto the main project. Let's paste it here. Now change this layer's Z-axis position to 850%. Let's keep it here. Now let's trim the all layers here. Now at this frame, at a rectangle shape, let's fit it to the canvas size. Let's change the shape color to red. Now blend this layer mode normal to multiply. Now add an opacity keyframe here. Move one second forward and add one more. Now at the first keyframe, decrease the opacity to 0%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now trim it. Now at this frame, add a rectangle shape. Let's fit it to the canvas size. Now add a circle shape. Adjust it as shown. Let's apply the Gaussian blur effect. Now change the rectangle shape color to black. Let's adjust this shape size a little bit more. Now select these two layers and tap on the exclusion icon for masking. Now change this layer Z axis position to 999%. Let's adjust the size. Now start this layer from the beginning. Now let's extend this layer duration. Let's decrease the opacity a little bit. Okay friends, now we will create his next animation. First we will add the vector drawing tool layer. Now draw four points as I shown in the video. Now select the second point and tap on this icon here. Now adjust with the handles as shown. Let me create more curves like this. Now let's adjust these points positions. Now go to colors and select no fill. Now enable the stroke. Select the Any color for your stroke. Now adjust the stroke size. Let's keep it here. Now add a circle shape. Change the shape color to white. Let's adjust the size and the position. Let's keep it here. Now duplicate this shape layer. Let's keep it here. Let's create two more circle shapes like this. Now let's add the vector images on the circles. Let's adjust this image size and position. Now duplicate the first circle layer. Bring it to top. Now select these two layers and tap on the masking icon for masking. In this way you can add the remaining images. Now extend these layers duration to 7 seconds. Now duplicate the stroke layer. Change this stroke color to white. Let's decrease the stroke size a little bit. Now apply the drawing progress effect to this layer. Now add an end keyframe here. 
Move to the last frame and add one more. Now at the first keyframe, decrease the end value to 0%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now select the first circle and first image and make them group. Now select the second circle and second image and make them as a grouped layer. Now select the third circle and third image and make them as a grouped layer. Do the same thing for the remaining circle layer and image layer. Now move forward. When the stroke reach the second image, trim it. Now add a scale keyframe here. Now move 15 frames forward and add one more. Now at the first keyframe, decrease the scale value to 0%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now let's create fade in animation using opacity keyframes. Now do the same thing for the remaining images. Now select the first image layer and apply the glow effect. Change the glow color to white. Decrease the hardness a little bit. Decrease the radius a little bit. Now copy this effect and paste it on to the remaining image layers. Now duplicate the white stroke layer. Select the second one and apply the Gaussian blur effect. Adjust the blur strength for the glow. Now add a rectangle shape. Change this shape color to black. Now fit this shape into the canvas size now add the grid effect. Let's change the grid color to white. Let's enable the screen space. Now adjust the spacing as shown. Now adjust the width. Now drag it down. Also extend this layer duration. Let's decrease the opacity a little bit. Now select the all layers and make them group. Now apply the flip layer effect to this grouped layer. Here change the axis value to 90 degrees. Now change the angle value to negative 50 degrees. Now increase this layer size as shown also adjust the position as shown. Now add a position keyframe here. Move to the last frame and adjust the position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. That's it guys. Now we will move to the next animation of Sackline Khan. First we will add a rectangle shape. Change this shape color to white. Now adjust this shape as shown. Now add one more rectangle shape. Change this shape color to white. Now adjust this shape as shown. Let's keep it here. 
Now let's apply the linear repeat effect. First adjust the position. Now increase the count value. Let's adjust these lines size a little bit more. Now duplicate the first line layer. Let's keep it here. Now increase the count as shown. Let's decrease size evalue. Let's adjust the position a little bit. Now add your text. Keep it here. Now let's create more texts like this. Now select the all layers and make them group. Now let's change this layer's pivot point position to the center. Let's adjust the scale a little bit. My lines are little big guys, let me make them little smaller. Now add a rectangle shape. Now adjust this shape as shown. Now apply the Gaussian blur effect. Adjust the blur strength as shown. Now go to blendings and select the mask. Let's adjust the shape size a little bit. Now let's adjust the blur strength. Now add a position keyframe to the grouped layer. Now move here and change the position as shown. Now make this animation faster to slower. Now we have something like this. Now at the last frame, add one more position keyframe. Here change the position to other side. Now make this animation faster to slower. Now we have something like this. Now apply the motion blur effect to grouped layer. Adjust the tune value to 0.7%. Now it's perfect. Now select these two layers and make them group now duplicate this layer. Select the second layer and apply the Gaussian blur effect for the glow. Adjust the blur strength if needed. Thank you for watching the video guys. Please like the video, subscribe for more content like this, and comment below on whose editing you would like to recreate next.